What's up everyone and welcome to my September game pickup video. Now in the month of September I picked up four games, one retro game, and across three different systems. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now for the PlayStation 4, I picked up one game in the month of September. And that game is the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Madan. Well, at least that's how I'm pronouncing it. It might be Madan. Um, pretty much this game... It's kind of like a budget title. It was only $30. And what the game looks like to me is a little bit of a, a Quantic Dream game and an Until Dawn. It's pretty much an interactive movie to my understanding. It says you can play with friends online, up to five players, or play by yourself. Now, the game in itself, it says embark on a troublesome journey. Discover the Dark Pictures, the first game horror anthology. In Man of Badan, five friends set sail on a diving trip. As the day unfolds, their trip soon changes into something more sinister. Who will live, who will die, it's all down to you. So this is another one of those games where pretty much the story is given to you and your decisions um, change and reflect on how the game plays. So I'm looking forward to this. This seems like a really, really cool game. And I like that it's apparently an anthology. So Man of Madonna. Now with that being said... I picked up another game that's basically an interactive movie for the PlayStation 2, and it's by one of my favorite companies, and they were just mentioned a little while ago, spoiler alert, that is Indigo Prophecy by Quantic Dream for the PlayStation 2. Now, Quantic Dream is the, the company that pretty much revolutionized interactive movies within video games, whether it be Heavy Rain, whether it be Beyond Two Souls, Detroit Become Human, but Indigo Prophecy is the one that kind of started all of that. At least to my knowledge, I've never played Indigo Prophecy, but being a fan of Quantic Dream, I figured I had to pick this one up. I had to see where the roots lie with this company and just, you know, what started it all. Now, my last two games are two Nintendo Switch games, two big releases for the month of September. The first one is Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age, the Definitive Edition. Now, I've never played... Any Dragon Quest game, but I'm a big JRPG fan, as you guys know. Uh, and Dragon Quest XI was originally released on the PlayStation 4 and PC a while back. However, in this definitive edition, it takes the 3D aspect of those games, but also adds in a feature that apparently, to my knowledge, was exclusive to the 3DS version in Japan. And that allows you to play in a 2D mode, which basically makes it an old school Dragon Quest game. So I figured I had to pick this one up. I had some Amazon points I cashed in. Ended up costing me like 30 bucks, so it was cool. Uh, and this is Dragon Quest Eleven. Now, my last game I picked up in the month of September is definitely the big game for the month of September for the Nintendo Switch, and that's The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. Now, I played the original Link's Awakening on the Game Boy. I never beat it, but when I saw they were doing this HD remake of it, basically... I had to pick it up. This game looks like a very interesting, uh, fun remake. That the graphic style, I I like it. I know people have criticized it. The game looks fun. It's very kitty. It's very cartoony. It's not a Breath of the Wild. You know, it's more along the lines of a Link to the Past, a Link Between Worlds, and Link's Awakening was one of probably the greatest original Game Boy games created, and it's definitely a Zelda game that many people hold near and dear to their heart. So I had to pick this one up. I can't wait to play it. I wasn't a big fan. That's a $60 title. I would have been more happy if it was like a $40 title. But I guess Nintendo was betting on this one. Um, so yeah, those are my quick little game pickups for the month of September. Four games. Link's Awakening, Dragon Quest XI, Man of Madan, and Indigo Prophecy for the PlayStation 2. Now, I know it wasn't a big pickup video this month. Uh, I did... Go down to Columbia, as you guys probably already know. I spent a lot of money down there. But I'm still right now. Right now I'm playing uh, We Very Few, which is a game I'm very torn on right now. My review will be coming once I beat it. Uh, but, yeah, leave your thoughts on the comment section below about what you thought of those four game pickups. As always, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. See you, bye.